Okay, so I was practicing with the various drawing tools, the various modes of the brush, the paint bucket, the pen tablet itself. Um, did any of you try to play with the rotation of the canvas? Um, how do you like it when you rotate it? Does it make it feel easier to draw maybe? Anyone that tried it? Hmm? Maybe a little bit so. Um, if it doesn't work, out, you can always hit the, the um, center back to stage. So if you did try to kind of rotate this around for it to work better with the curve of your own natural hand, uh, you could have it go back center stage. So that might be useful to some people uh, because people sometimes what they try to do is they rotate the tablet itself um, and rotating the tablet still just is kind of weird. So that might be a way to do it. Um, anyway, once this is kind of complete at a certain point, we're going to do the same thing as before. So you don't have to do this right now. And again, this will be recorded if you want to replay it. But like previously, and this is also in the assignment, but we would go to File, Export, um, Image. Uh, Adobe Animate directly doesn't print. But if we export a regular graphic, then that graphic can be printed from regular Windows or Mac. So basically exporting an image, and the best quality would be the, the ping format. So ping 24 will give you the best result of your quality of your, of your drawings. If you go with the GIF, it reduces the color palette, although for a simple sort of drawing, it might not be a big deal. Um, the catch, though, is that most likely you don't want transparency if you selected a certain color for the background and such. Uh, transparency will, will knock it out, will remove it. So most likely you want ping 24 with no transparency. And um, then this is going to get saved as a printable file. If I were to save that, it's going to be a PNG. And you can easily then print a PNG from Windows or Mac. Now, the when you go to the print screen, you want to double check that the screen says shrink to fit, because maybe your drawing might be off of the edge of the page, and then it's going to print your drawing, and then like one little strip of the foot that you didn't uh, that was that didn't fit on one page. So uh, once you do that, once you save it as a PNG and print it, make sure it says fit on one page. Portrait instead of landscape? Uh, it'll probably be automatic on portrait already. That's the default on any print portrait, and our drawings are going to be portrait. But that's a good note there that when you print, make sure it fits on one sheet, so shrink to fit, and portrait. If it doesn't, it might go landscape and again cut it off into two sheets. Question? So when we do the assignment, we send it to Canvas and we give you a hard printed copy? No, you only give the printed copy. I'm not taking it on Canvas, just oh. a printed copy. So the export and the print is pretty straightforward. The only thing is that, that you cannot print directly from Adobe Animate. You have to first export it as a ping and then print it. Well, let's look at the other details of what the assignment is. If you'd like to go over to Canvas, we'll look at the assignment. You might have already seen it. If not, We'll take a moment to go look at the Canvas assignment so I can tell you the details of it. So you want to log into Canvas. Okay, so then in Canvas, we're going to go over to our class and our, we're in week six of the semester. Uh, so we've got a spring break also at the end of the month. So that'll take a week of the instruction. Anyway, we've got uh, modules, week six. And like I said, this week you don't have a discussion. You just have a, a, an assignment. But again, the, uh, the details of the assignment matter. So 
if you look at the assignment, here's the big idea. So in the network folder, which I'll put right now actually, you can get a copy of it right here from the network folder, week six begin. It's also there on Canvas. Week six begin, this is um, where you're going to start your, your assignment at. You have one requirement of a tracing, and then you have extra credit, which I'll talk about in a moment. But I'm going to give you these starting points of these famous characters from famous artists and such. Um, and you're going to import it into an, uh, an Adobe Animate project. The dimensions are in the assignment. And then you're going to trace it. OK, well, that's easy. I'll be done in two minutes. Well, no, because there's also a few other things you need to do. Uh, on the assignment here, I'm mentioning as well that you have to have a certain dimension for your for your uh, project because again the size if it's too large too small it might print weird this is a dimensions that I picked that should fit just fine on one sheet of paper and uh, so you'll have your own FLA file you're going to import one of the graphics you're going to set yourself up like we did in class about tracing etc etc using the brush tool not the pencil not the pen not other not other drawing tools not other drawing software this is an Adobe Animate class of course so we're going to use Adobe Animate and uh, for the moment, we're going to practice with the brush tool, not the other tools. And uh, you're going to then uh, trace, trace the drawing with pressure and tilt. You're going to colorize it, flat colors. You don't have to do any sort of amazing gradients and glows or anything like that. I'm not looking for that at the moment. And uh, when we print those out there, they don't look as amazing as you think. Um, our printers are color, but they don't print like you know high def color or whatever. So you're amazing colorization might not turn out, so they're going flat colors. There's also then um, a requirement right here, change one thing about the tracing, maybe the expression, maybe an item, maybe they're holding something else, maybe the scenery or whatever. So it's not just going to be straight trace it and turn it in, you're going to trace it and change something about it. And it shouldn't be like he's winking instead of full eyes. You know, I can barely notice that. So if I don't notice it, minus points or whatever, right? You need to, I need to know that you did these things. Uh, they, they need to be obvious that you did these things so I can give you the points. I don't want to argue about it later that, like, I did change this. Look, his, his, uh, his thumb is up instead of his pointing finger. No, I want something tangible. So then you're going to export it as a, a ping file, like I just noted right now, and then print it out. So you only need to print out the assignment, and this will be due then on Monday. It's not going to be due on Sunday, like these are. This will be due at, by the end of Monday. So if you need one final time to work with our tablets and such, that Monday, Monday will be the last day. But I'm not saying don't work on this until that Monday, because we're still going to have a lecture. We're going to have a lecture, and then you're going to have lab time to turn it in. And I'm not going to have the printers on when the lecture is going on for you to print during the lecture. So it's going to be a regular lecture next week, but you'll have the final lab time to turn it in by 4.30 next Monday. And then if you heard extra credit, yes, there's extra credit. Now this is extra credit. This is, doesn't take place of the regular assignment. You can do your own character. Draw your own original character in Adobe Animate, brand new. Uh, you can trace it off of something else that you've done before, but you need to do it in Animate. And then also, you know, draw it, colorize it, turn it in, uh, print it out, turn it in. Extra credit. You can get up to two points. 20% of an assignment. So um, that's the extra credit. The requirements are all right there. You did this or not. It's, some of them are going to have more nuance. Some of them don't. You did it or not, no points. Some of them you kind of did it, some points. So make sure you check what that is about what is required and what is not. All of these are pretty much you did it or not. So you can quickly drop in points if you don't do a thing. And then there's the extra credit, which I guess can make up for it, but only up to two, up to two points. So that's going to be the assignment for this week. You're going to, from the selections that I've got for you here, select one of them to import, draw it, change something, color it, print it, turn it in. By Monday. Question. So some of them have like backgrounds, but we're only tracing the character, right? Uh, no, you want to trace as much of it as you can. So let me open up one of these. So this one, um, you know, this is this got some stuff there, like select types or something. So you would draw, you would want to recreate as much as possible the original drawing, and then just change something about it. Like uh, what's another one over here? 
So on this one has a lot going on here, and then uh, yeah, we want to draw everything about it, retrace it, and then change something about it. So that's going to be the assignment there. And um, any questions? We'll have lab time from now until 4.30, and then you'll have time if you stay from 4.30 to 6. And then you have tomorrow, 4.30 to uh, 6, and then on Fridays from 11 to 3. And then that final Monday with some final lab time. General questions.